the top 25 most popular cars, trucks, SUVs in America based on sales. Hello, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, here today with the amazing Elizabeth. Today's show is about the best-selling cars, trucks, and SUVs in America. Anybody want to guess now on which vehicle tops the list? Well, as reported by Car and Driver, inventory and supply chain issues persisted, but many top-selling models still posted sales increases in 2021 compared with 2020. 2020 was a strange year for new car sales, but 2021 might have been even stranger. Many factors were at play, including inventory constraints due to a semiconductor shortage and continuing COVID-19 pandemic. Even so, buyers flocked to dealerships to snap up the limited inventory, meaning overall volumes outperformed 2020 numbers. It was more of a mixed bag on a model-by-model -model basis, and we've tallied up the top 25 cars, trucks, and SUVs in order of their sales numbers. This list includes numbers from the full 2021 calendar year. And yes, availability of microchips did impact the final placement. Cracking the top 25 is the Honda Pilot. 143,062 units were sold. Starting MSRP, 37,580. Honda's three-row SUV is in the top 25 thanks to its strong numbers that were up 16% over last year. It's due for a replacement soon, though, as the current generation has been around since 2016. At number 24, Toyota 4Runner, 144,696 units sold, starting MSRP, 37,605. It may be dated, but Toyota's body-on-frame SUV continues to sell in big numbers, posting a 12% increase over last year. Coming in at 23, the Ford Escape, 145,415 units sold. The starting MSRP was 26,510. Now that this more stylish and exciting Bronco Sport sibling is on sale, it's no wonder that the somewhat anonymous Escape has fallen in the ranks. Sales were down 19% and the Bronco Sport is charging hard with its 108,000 units sold throughout the year. Go Bronco! Yeah. At number 22, the Hyundai Tucson, 150,949 units sold starting MSRP 24,950. The new 2022 version of Hyundai's compact SUV has a bold look, and it seems customers are loving it. Sales are up 22% over last year. Number 21, Subaru Outback. 154,623 units were sold, starting MSRP 27,145. The Outback has the market cornered on station wagons, as it's the only one of its kind that sells in significant numbers here in the U.S. Its sales were up 1% over last year, and there's a new off-road oriented wilderness model for the 2022 model year. Uh, Subaru is kind of a sexy vehicle. <laughs> At number 20, Subaru Forester, 154,723 units sold, starting MSRP 25,395. You're more likely to see a new Forester on the road than any other Subaru, as it's the brand's best selling model. Sales were down 13% compared with last year. Coming in at number 19, the Chevy Equinox. 165,323 units were sold, starting MSRP 25,800. The Equinox has seen better days as it was one of the few compact SUVs to experience a sales decline last year. A refreshed model for the 2022 model year might start to turn that around, but not if inventory remains a challenge. The CX-5 may not be the top selling compact SUV, but it is Mazda's only entry in the top 25. The most expensive vehicle on this list, at number 17, the Tesla Model Y, 172,700 units sold, estimated. Starting MSRP is 58990 The Tesla Model Y is the best-selling electric vehicle in this country, and it made its way to the overall list of top sellers this year. But these sales numbers come with a caveat, as they're an estimate from Automotive News. Tesla doesn't release its own U.S. sales figures. At number 16, the Honda Accord, 202,676 units sold, starting MSRP 26120 the best-selling Accord midsize sedan isn't the top seller it once was, as it's fallen far behind its rival, the Toyota Camry, and behind Honda's own compact Civic. Updates for the 2021 model year are minor, but it still saw a 2% increase over last year. Number 15, the Jeep Wrangler. 204,610 units were sold, starting MSRP 29995 the Jeep Wrangler's lineup is more diverse than ever now that it features an optional diesel, a V8, and even a plug-in hybrid model. Its popularity remains high, too, with sales up 2%. At number 14, Ford Explorer, 219,871 units sold, starting MSRP 33745 
the Explorer and the Toyota Highlander were duking it out for the three-row SUV sales crown earlier this year. But the Ford is now decisively losing the race with sales down 3%. For comparison, the Highlander sales were up 24%. At number 13, the GMC Sierra. 248,924 units were sold. Starting MSRP was 41395 Sales of both the light-duty and heavy-duty Sierra models fell this year, with the 1500 model down 0.5% and the HD trucks down 4%. At number 12, Toyota Corolla, 248,993 units sold, starting MSRP 20175 Toyota's compact sedan and hatchback continue to cash in on their strong reputation for reliability. Sales were up 5%, but it finished a year behind its rival, the Honda Civic. Number 11, Toyota Tacoma. 252,520 units sold. MSRP started at 26,700. Mid-sized trucks are in these days, and the Tacoma outsells all its competitors by a wide margin. Its sales rose 6% compared with 2020. Cracking the top 10 at number 10 is the Honda Civic. 263,787 units sold, starting MSRP 22,350. The Civic was languishing in the first quarter of the year, but sales have risen since the redesigned 2022 Civic went on sale. Numbers are up 1% over last year. Number 9, the Toyota Highlander. 264,128 trucks were And that number is right, by the way, because we got the number wrong on previous video we did on top uh, 20 SUVs. This number is correct, 264,128. Okay. The starting MSRP was 35405 the Highlander three-row SUV continues its ascent through the sales ranks in 2021 with a strong year. Sales were up 24% over last year. At number eight, the Jeep Grand Cherokee, 264,444 units sold, starting MSRP 38,325. A new generation of the Grand Cherokee is now on sale, starting with the three-row L model, but the current two-row version is still available. A new two-row model is coming soon, but for now, sales were up 26% compared with last year. Number seven, Nissan Rogue. 285,602 units were sold. MSRP started at 26,850. The redesigned 2021 Rogue is far better than its predecessor, and the numbers are reflecting a similar improvement so far this year. Sales were up 25% compared to last year. And number six, the Toyota Camry. 313,795 units sold, starting MSRP 25,395. If there's one thing that's certain in the auto sales hierarchy, it's the Camry's place on top of the passenger car ranks. The midsize sedan experienced a 7% increase over last year, enough to beat out all the entries on this list that are neither trucks or SUVs. Very true. Sitting in the top five overall, at number five, Honda CRV. 361,271 units sold. MSRP started at 26,400. The CRV is Honda's bread and butter, and its sales were up 9% over last year. A hybrid model also joined the lineup recently. And also in the top five at number four, Toyota RAV4, 407,739 units sold, starting MSRP 26,525. Ever since it achieved the title of best selling non truck in the country, <laughs> the RAV4 has been extending its lead over its compact crossover rivals. Sales were down 5% compared with last year. I think you just invented a word, non-truck. Yes. <laughs> okay, a shocker at number three, the Chevrolet Silverado. 519,774 units were sold. The starting MSRP was 32.5. Results for the Silverado were not great in 2021. It was outsold by the Ram truck lineup and sales declined with the light duty model down nearly 13% and the heavy duty version down 8%. At number two, the Ram truck, 569,388 units sold, starting MSRP 39,160. Ram's truck lineup continues its ascent with a strong year that saw sales rise 1%. That was enough to beat the Silverado, which typically occupies the second place sales ranking. Topping the list at number one, Ford F-Series, 726,004 units were sold, starting MSRP 37,700 for a crew cab. Ford's ever-popular pickup truck lineup entered 2021 with a refreshed F-150 lineup that now includes a hybrid and an updated Super Duty model as well. Ford and the F-150 in particular has been hit hard by this global microchip shortage and sales fell 8% compared to last year. It's ironic that trucks took the top three spots, especially now with fuel prices skyrocketing. Yeah, no joke. I wonder if there's a little bit of buyer's remorse out yeah. there. In closing, I want to express heartfelt appreciation to those of you 
who have donated or asked how you could contribute to my medical expenses. You are a lifesaver. For your convenience, our staff has put the PayPal and Cash App links in the description box down below. And right now, 100% of these donations from viewers are going towards Kevin's ongoing medical expense. All right, if you appreciate our video today, consider giving us a great big thumbs up. And please always remember to comment on our videos and share them with family and friends. Hopefully you got some friends. <laughs> Comments really matter because they help boost our online visibility and lead others to great homework guy content. The entire homework guy team is here to represent you, the car buyer, and that's what we love to do. Thanks everyone for coming back. We'll see you on our next video. You guys rock. I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, here with the amazing Elizabeth, the homework gal. We, we gotta, gotta go. go.